Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Georgie Grimm and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be delving into some hot, hot tea. So basically, what this video is gonna be about is some shit went down with me and another brand and I have some tea to spill. So basically, if you guys, hello my kitty. Hello kitty. Kitty, kitty. Here she is, you guys. Here's my kitty cat. This is Lily. Hi, Lily. I know. But so basically, if you guys are unfamiliar with this brand called Missy UK, don't fucking trust them. If they go onto your Instagram and they comment on your photos or they say anything to you, do not reply because they are a scam. Missy UK is a scam. And I'll tell you guys exactly why. So here's what happened. Basically, I looked at, you know, I, I'll post these photos on my Instagram where they're like photo shoots and I will tag them with like different brands of clothing that I'm wearing. Sometimes I will promote that post so it can get more views and more likes on it because you know Instagram hack 101 be sure to always promote your shit because then you will get like more likes on your photos so I had posted a photo and I'll show you which photo I'm talking about right here on my Instagram oh it was one of my VidCon posts that's what it was because I remember very distinctly that you know reply on one of my Instagram posts from VidCon and be like oh my god a brand finally contacted me Dude, like VidCon fucking did it. Like, oh my God, this is it, bitch. This fucking shit is it. Get this, you guys, it's where it gets really intense. So after about like maybe three weeks of me like having that comment on my post, I finally replied to them. This is what I fucking said. Hi, I was sent over to DM you guys. And that was sent on July 25th. And they replied back to me on August 6th. And they said, we'd love to have you become an ambassador. You'll get 60% off everything in store for life from at Missy UK. Worldwide shipping. You'll also get one free piece of clothing from we are sad gal one free piece of jewelry from shine and company one free watch from richard lane watches one free swimsuit from from bondi 25 percent discount for your followers whenever it's used and you make a 25 percent commission and then at the end it says would you like to join our family babe and then of course i say that sounds amazing i would love to join the family so keep in mind those pieces were not I had to pay $14 for shipping. And then they said, we're so excited you want to join our ambassador team. Your code for 60% off everything from our website is diamond60. You can get whatever you like as much as you like. Once you've gone to missy.co.uk and ordered your look, send us a screenshot of your order and it's completed so we can give you the code for your followers. We're sending from Bonnie, we're sad guy, shine and company, and Richard Land watches next. You'll only have to pay the shipping on these items. And so they told me that I would have to pay for shipping but they did not say that before i agreed to that so that was really interesting and then they say when you've completed your first checkout we'll follow you right away and we'll also shout you out on our story as a new ambassador keep in mind they did not do this they did not shout me out on their story i was waiting for them to do that and then they did not do that whatsoever that was fucking red flag number one for me and then they said your code for 100 off one item from sad gal is marine one 100, they just ask that you pay shipping. Send them a screenshot and they'll provide you a 25% off code for your followers. Anytime someone uses this code, they will give you a 25% commission. Make sure to DM We Are Sad Gal. Let them know that you're one of the new ambassadors referred by Missy UK. Once you get your products, take a pic, post it, and tag them. So, get this. I DM Sad Gal and they did not reply to me. Red flag number two. <laughs> and you're probably sitting here and be like, George, how the fuck did you not get this? Believe me. I'm sitting here being like, I don't know how the fuck I didn't get this. I'm like, bitch, are you dumb? Are you fucking dumb? Like, how did you not get this? My God. So basically they said the exact same thing for the swimsuit one. They said the exact same thing for the watches one. And then they said the exact same thing for the other one. I can't remember what the other one was. But so I had only decided to order a swimsuit and then I decided to order the outfit from Sad Gal and then the outfit from Missy UK. So that is $14 plus $14 plus what was like, 
$44, I think. That's like a grand total of about $80 right there. So you're probably sitting there and be like, George, that's a lot of fucking money you just lost. And I'm like, I know. That's a lot of money I just like paid to the company in which I thought would give me what I was asking for. Just wait, it gets so much worse. Say, all right, thank you so much. And then they say, when do you think you can get started, babe? Do you think you could go claim one of your free items now? That was one of my other red flags. Cause it's like, okay, why are you telling me to do it like right now you know like most brands that contact me are pretty patient they aren't like wow can you do it like right fucking now bitch they were persistent and then they say we're excited to get the products out to you as soon as possible keep that in fucking mind so we can get you featured on our insta another red flag um, and then i said absolutely i'm gonna get started now and then i say hey so i messed up on my order and i accidentally put in the wrong shipping address for sad gal what should i do i contacted them and asked them to change my shipping address and then they said dm them and then i said i did and then i sent the screenshot saying that i had like purchased the item and then i said completed another order and here's my order completed for you guys thank you and then they don't even like get back to me with my other package that was mysteriously gone by the way by the way, it was mysteriously just like out in like cyberspace or something. And they never got back to me about fixing my order. And so on August 12th, after all of this happens, keep in mind this is August 6th when this is happening. On August 12th, I say, hey, I'm wondering when my package will be shipped, you know? Because I'm thinking like, okay, maybe, you know, they're delayed or something like that, right? You know, they're in the UK and whatever. And then they reply back to me on the same day. Shipping usually takes 7 to 14 business days. Keep this in mind. From the time the items have been processed. As soon as it has been processed, we automatically forward you tracking information via the email you supplied in your order. Keep in mind, items may arrive separately. Keep in mind, I never got this email ever from them, from the company, anything like that. Next, I say back to them after all of this happens, if not, and this is on a day separate, so this is like, I want to say it's on the 26th of August. I sent this on August 12th. It is now August 26th. And I said, if not, and I get a refund if the packages don't come. No reply. I say back on August 27th. Hi, when do you think you could get back to me? No reply. On August 28th, I said, it's almost been a whole month. What's been going on? When do you think you can get back to me on this? I have no information whatsoever on when my package will arrive. Please get back to me within 48 hours or else I will retract my order with your company as well as my partnership. No reply. They reply to me back on September 19th today which is a full month after this whole fiasco went down keep that in mind keep that in mind they said back to me please contact customer service in order to resolve this issue customer service tends to respond within one to two business days the email is service at misky.co.uk the email is also in the bio of our instagram page and get this that fucking email did not fucking work i used it twice no three times i will put those emails up right here for you to see that those emails did not go through they did not send and they actually resent back to me and i was like what the fuck what the fuck is happening and i go off on them i say lol fuck you i'm making a video exposing your entire company for how much of a scam you guys are i'm so done with your company i lost 78 dollars what the fuck are you kidding me bull fucking shit i want my money back now and then they say there's no need to swear are you sure about that we have new staff who are working diligently to figure out and solve the issue for you we are looking into it now please provide an email in which we can contact you once, once we've gotten to the bottom of this thank you i said great thanks i'll never be working with your company again i say you took far too long to reply and you using the response that you were too busy is not good enough for me. I am very upset and very angry. And I am very mad that I lost that much money from you guys. That's absurd and completely ridiculous. The fact of the matter is I am a customer. And so therefore I should be treated like a customer. Your customer care is horrid. And the response time between each text I've sent you over the course of the last month is obscene. If you treat every person whom you contact like this, and I will be sure to expose your company due to the fact that I do not want anybody to become brand ambassadors with you guys. I am absolutely shocked at your non-professionalism and your disregard for your customers. I revoke my ambassadorship with your company immediately. I will be contacting customer service and requesting my money back. Paid in full. No questions asked. If there are, my lawyer will be in contact with you. The email you gave me is false. It keeps resending me my own email. Please send me proper email for your company ASAP. They saw this. They did not reply back to me and that's 
what fucking happened. That fucking bullshit company. I am livid. You guys, I'm pissed. That fucking bullshit fucking company lied to me, cheated me out of my money, and scammed me. This fucking company scammed me out of my fucking money. And so now I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, great. What the fuck am I going to do? How am I going to get my fucking money back? How the fuck am I supposed to get my fucking money back? I don't know. This is ridiculous. And I am just like so fucking mad. I literally don't know what the fuck to do. You guys, I am... <sighs> I literally don't know what to do. So honestly, honestly, if you guys ever have anything like this happen to you guys ever, by all means, do your research. Do not fall for those Instagram brand deals because they're all fake. Those fucking Instagram scammers are all fake. They lie to you. They cheat you out of your fucking money. They scam you. And then they don't even give you the fucking product in the first place. They don't even give you the fucking product in the first place. I literally, like, I scrolled through 30 different counts of this shit happening like okay after all of this happened i had started you know to become pretty suspicious of everything and so i scrolled through about 30 different accounts of this exact same thing happening to people people were claiming that before all this happened like on facebook missy uk was like creating a basically like a group chat for people to be a part of and you know, talk on and all that and that you had to basically buy an item in order to be a part of this group chat that they had for the people and so a lot of girls were getting really mad and they were talking about how they you know didn't get their items or they were late or they were damaged or something was wrong with them and they were getting really really fucking pissed with Missy. And so apparently this has been happening for a long time. And it just took me until now to really understand all this, to realize it. And I feel like a fucking dumbass and for not knowing this beforehand. But now I know. And now I guess my lesson's been learned or whatever. But I am pissed, you know. And if you guys have any advice for me to get my money back, tell me now. Because I'm so mad about this. Like, I don't even know what the fuck to do. So, huh. Do your research. Make sure you're not getting scammed out of your money. Trust your intuition by all means. If it's like a company trying to DM you, don't fuck can, like do that shit guys most companies that are legit will actually properly email you they won't fucking dm you or anything like that they won't even like tell you dm them on their instagram or on your instagram i've heard this from other people who have had the same thing happen to them people who i personally know i guess what i'm gonna say to everybody watching this video is again do your research learn about the company learn about what their policies are learn about everything about them and honestly make sure that you're not buying their products again if you have any suggestions for me to get my money back please let me know because i feel stupid i feel so stupid i hope you guys liked this video and i really hope that you guys learned something from this video because i sure did oh my god i sure did i'll catch you guys next week with a better you know more entertaining video or like maybe a less entertaining video i don't know let's fucking see i'll be moving in this week by the way to my college so be prepared for that because i'll probably be mia for another like hot second because i'm going to be super fucking busy with moving in to school i might vlog it i probably won't because i'll probably forget but honestly i kind of feel like i should because it's my last college you know move in of like ever because i'll be moving to literally la in april thanks for watching this video be sure to turn on those bell notifications so you know when i fucking post please thank you okay i'll catch you guys next week okay thanks bye